Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now, been out about the Peak District and decided to pop in to Magpie Mine, uh, which sort of, that was kind of in the middle of the Derbyshire Peak District. Um, so I've been meaning to go for ages. And really coming here today, other than the fact that we're fairly close by and want to nip in, is the sky, I don't know if you can make it out. Don't know if it'll come out very well in the video. Really quite moody, I've had some set of rain showers going through and the mood might work really well. Lots of black and white, lots of mood to it. So sort of, kind of a little bit similar to the black and white urban that I've been doing. But this, obviously it's old industry and I think it might work, but it's gonna be sort of fairly light on the talking and big gallery at the end, I think. Uh, but we'll see what I can find. Never know, it might work. So for those of you who don't know, Magpie Mine used to be an old lead mine and it's actually a scheduled monument up here so it, it's well looked after, kept in the current state that it is so it stops from sort of deteriorating any further. Uh, but it's a great spot for some sort of moody sort of old industrial stuff. Uh, I've actually some fantastic night shots here as well, good night, clear night. Because of where it is there's not a lot of light pollution at all, you can get some really nice sort of star fields and stuff like that. Uh, but I feel a lot of work, we've got an old sort of winer house over there, some nice looks from that. Um, obviously the chimneys, the main mine shaft buildings and stuff like that. Um, yeah, might do a lot of intimate bits as well, try and sort of get sort of tight into stuff, just sort of looking up the chimneys, things like that. So yeah, let's have a bit of a wander around. Uh, I'll drop a bit of b-roll as wandering about as well. And it uh, looks like a gallery at the end as per normal, just lately. Um, for those who do like the EXIF data, I'll be fixing everything at uh, F8 today, run an aperture priority, um, fix the ISO at 200 and let the shutter speed sort itself out. Um, it might not look it, but it's reasonably bright today, even though sort of it's fairly well overcast. So it'll be somewhere between sort of 1 25th of a second and sort of 2 50th of a second, I would have thought. Um, obviously, if I get tighter in, might drop down to sort of most sort of 1 60th of a second. But yeah, those sort of ranges that'll be in anyway. But ISO and uh, sort of the uh, the aperture will be fixed. So yeah, those bits you don't need to worry about. And there is a lot of information here as well. Now, if I just sort of roll across this, you may, if you pause it in the particular places, be able to read the info. But it's great to see it's well looked after and there is a lot of information here as well. There's something completely unexpected. Who's that on the background? A tree there. Because uh, a nice bit of mist in the background it actually works quite well. I might be able to sort of bring that sky down as well because it's got some really nice patterns in it. Um, pull the exposure back a bit, should make it really quite nice. Uh, we're kind of wandering up to the, uh, the mine buildings itself now though. Um, yeah, really quiet today as well. Um, might be down to the weather but uh, yeah, there's not too many people around which is quite nice for the photography. So the wind's definitely getting up a bit now, and uh, you can probably see a few little rain spots on the lens as well. Uh, but looking over that way, great shot of the entire site. Um, where we are now is actually still part of the site. It's the old uh, sort of horse-drawn sort of winch um, that's the bringing the ore up out of the, the shafts uh, that were sort of replicated up on the hillside here. Uh, but yeah, so we've got some reasonable shots from round there anyway before the sort of rain sort of started coming in. The sky is still really moody though, so I might try and get a couple of little bits around the area, a couple of sort of old barns that might work. Uh, but yeah, it's not a bad site. I think it's the sort of place to return to in different conditions as well. Um, might be able to sort of pick some different things out. Um, but yeah, well worth a visit. If you're in the area, um, it is accessible by foot only. Um, it's probably what, a quarter of a mile walk from the road. Um, but yeah, well worth a visit and look after the place as well, so it actually stays here for some time. But it's 
is the sort of place that it benefits the mood I think it I think it really does work I could just done with a little bit more light coming in um, just to finish it off nicely but like I said the rain's coming back in a little bit now but to be anticipated it is sort of been a rainy day so far so we sort of just chanced it just in case There we go, nice short and sweet visit to the Magpie Mine. Um, like I said, nice place to come and visit. Um, the idea I've got a little bit of light today, but yeah, never seems to happen normally, but yeah, it's nice to have it. Um, definitely a lot of, sort of great buildings in this, the old smithy, as well as like the main building, the sort of greets as you come down the farm track. Um, beautiful site, so many photographic opportunities that unfortunately today it's maybe a little bit too overcast to really do the best out of them, but yeah, it's a good site and well worth a visit if you're in the area. But if you enjoyed the video, please do give us a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. Every little helps, as they say. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more as well, hit the notification bell. It, YouTube basically sort of sends you a, a bit of a message next time I pop a video out. Uh, but yeah, if there's anything you want to see, drop us a comment down below as well. Looks like I've been doing various bits and bobs around the different areas. Um, we'll be back in lakes again soon, I think. We've just got to work out the timings on that. Uh, so we're doing some bits and bobs up there. Um, and I'm trying at the moment so I can get hold of uh, a little lens to have a play with, but uh, more on that later if it comes off. Uh, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care.